Okay, so in this video clip, uh, we're going to look at the Tian 1993 uh, binomial lattice, and we're going to set up some Python code where not only do we estimate the value of the option, the American option, uh, but we're also going to output the Greeks associated, so the parameter sensitivities. In other words, we're going to estimate the delta gamma uh, and the price. Uh, here and we're following the approach uh, introduced by Espen Hogue, so it might be worthwhile uh, taking a look a little bit uh, closer look at Espen Hogue. Espen uh, has this textbook option pricing formulas, um, and he developed a lot of VBA code here for pricing different financial instruments. And he's a whole section, I think it's chapter seven on lattices and it's very instructive. And typically what you find when you go out into varying GitHubs and you review material um, for Python or for other uh, code, uh, many of the authors will uh, use the template set out by Heston because it's so efficient. So in this instance here, we're going to run some Python code and um, go into the table of contents here and um, if you wanted to perhaps review a little bit of the material here the 2007 paper right uh, from Joshi gives some overview of um, the different approaches so Cox, Ross, Rubenstein, Lyson, Reimer and the Tian uh, approaches uh, so we have a Cox, Ross, Rubenstein, Gerard Rudd um, and then here, this is Tian 1993, right? So this using, um, estimating the U and the D jumps using this type of configuration uh, does result in some slightly improved performance, especially for a higher number of steps. And that's one of, that's one of the things we found uh, in our own paper. Um, when we examined a little bit the um, performance of models, um, one of the things we would have observed, the Tian model, particularly if it has black shoals, moving and Richardson extrapolation, Tian model is quite good at the higher uh, number of steps in the tree. Okay, so our, our task here is relatively simple. So I'm gonna try to stay on task here. Um, we're going to implement, now I've, I'm going to implement the code um, in part set out here in this GitHub. And originally this was set up, this is Tian Nuds, uh, who has a GitHub here and he produced some code to estimate Lyson Reimer binomial model. I've adopted it for to estimate Tian, but if you look carefully through the construction, it follows Espen. Hogue's approach, um, and that's quite a sensible thing to do. And even here that follows Espen's approach. So I'm going to use this, I'm going to piggyback on their work, but I'm going to introduce, instead of using the Lyson Reimer parameters, uh, estimating the U and the D like this, we're going to follow the Tian approach, right? Which is estimating Tian 1993, we're going to estimate these following this approach here. Okay, so that actually is quite a simple thing to do. If you have that code, you can just put it into the Google Colab and you can see the Z and the Z equal to minus one for the call or put. And then we're looking to value here the uh, American option. So uh, the parameter values for the stock price exercise T, the maturity three years, risk rate three, uh, cost of carry, uh, negative 0 0.04, which implies a dividend of 7%, volatility of two, sorry, of 20% and with a 500 step tree. If I execute that snippet of code, it will produce, just run in the collab here. You can see the results we obtain here. Uh, we get the European call, American call, European put, and American put estimation. And 
we're getting it using the Tian approach. Now with 500 steps, it's not a very big step size. We can compare the results to uh, true values that I would have obtained here from uh, Brody to Temple 1996, where they set out the same risk free rate, dividend to 7%, 20% volatility, stock price or asset price 100, exercise 100, three year maturity, and you get the 9.066. So we're relatively close, right? And if we increase the step size, we get closer. Right, so we're getting the 9.06. So for the American option, this one here, we're getting the 9.06384. So if we increase the step size, for instance, maybe to uh, 1,000, just double, and run again, we'll get closer to 9.066. Okay, and we have to connect to the server and uh, run an output. So. 9.64, if I put in, um, uh, let's say 3000 steps here, uh, that'll take, now we're, we're doing this uh, for now four trees, right? So we're producing the output of four binomial trees and then American options are typically uh, they're going to take longer to estimate than the European because it involves making a choice between a stopping and continuation, right? Um, so that's still estimating. But in, if you look at the code here, again, it follows the same IJ configuration as Espen Hogue, uh, his textbook. Um, what you find is you, when you're estimating uh, the option, you're taking the maximum of the stopping value or intrinsic value or the continuation value, right? And that then involves um, having to optimize at each step of the way. So this is a blanket uh, checking of each node um, and that does take a little bit of time. Okay, so I'm gonna pause for a second because it is going to uh, take a little bit of time. And you can see we're getting uh, 7.38, 9.0656. So we're very close to the 9.066, right? Um, consistent here. So it took a minute or so, maybe two minutes uh, in this instance. I think I'll change that back to 500 and estimate again. And then I'll come down now. I have some C++ code that I've run before we have it here, the C++ 93, uh, we're going to do that again. So we have the Tian with Greeks using Python. I'm just going to compare the results I have here. So the output that I have here, I'm going to compare it against the C++, which is this one. So let's just execute this. Now it's Tian CPP. That would have went now into our uh, content folder. Right, so if we go into our content folder, you can see Tian CPP. If we double click, it would appear here. And then the next step of the execution would be you take that Tian, the name of the file, Tian.cpp, and you run this other code that's there. And we're getting, look at the result 9.063. We can compare that against what we just. Uh, worked out. So let's just put that to one side and bring down and compare against the Python code. So let's compare the C++ code, this snippet of code here against the Python code for the Tian model. And what we observe here is that the results are the same, right? And in this instance, it's not optimal. It would appear it's not optimal to exercise the American pot early. Uh, that I suspect is because the dividend is high compared to the to the risk free rate. Uh, when you have a high dividend, uh, you're more likely to exercise the call option, less likely to exercise the put. The lower R is, the less likely you are to exercise the put early, right? 
Um, okay, so those results seem to tally, and this estimation is one that we would have done before. Again, if we compare that snippet of code, it's just here, it's the same code that I executed here. The only change is in terms of the output, right? The only change is in terms of the what we see out. Okay, so um, a couple of other small things. We've executed the Python code, but we haven't outputted yet the Greeks, and maybe we should try to go through that a little bit. Now to output the Greeks, uh, what you could do is just change the P to a D, and then you get Delta, or you change the P to G, you get Gamma, or if you want all, it's A. So um, we might consider the following then using D. So let's delete that and then just come underneath code and control V. So let's run the same estimation as we've done before, but we're going to substitute in the place of P, D, otherwise everything is the same. So what we get here are the deltas. And when we run this, we're getting 0 0.34 for Delta for the European call, for the American call it's 0 0.46. And then there's no difference between the European put and the American put. And that, if we don't exercise, if it's not worth our while exercising the American put early, then the European put and the American put are the same. So that result uh, is, we might expect. Okay, and if we wanted all the output, so for instance, if we want the stock price, the, the value of the call uh, or and put, uh, the delta and gammas for each, uh, we substitute instead of D, we put an A. Right, let's, so let's try that and execute. And you can see here we're getting the delta the gamma and the value of the option. Okay, so by substituting in A instead of D, instead of uh, P, right? If we put in A, we get all three, all the uh, outputs. So the value of the option of the European call, the, the uh, delta and the gamma. And um, notice again, these are the same it's not optimal to exercise the American put early. Okay, so that's uh, estimating the Greeks for the TAN model. That could be useful if you're hedging a portfolio um, and, and that was important. Um, and um, if you're trying to uh, consider a parameter sensitivity in a more systemized uh, fashion.